Oh yeah, the instructions for getting rid of dead bodies, of course, of course. That, of course, is just letting you know about, um, you know, the method for keeping crimson heads from biting your butthole up. Alright, so that's, uh, everything in here. Okay, so, I think I want to go grab the, uh, yeah, let's start making our way over to get the armor key and the shotgun. That will be our first order of business. So, if we head to the second floor of the dining hall, that will take us in the direction that we want to go. Now, I'm noticing that the supplies uh, at the start here are very limited. So, like, I, I don't have a lot of room to fuck around here. Uh, I have very little ammo... And I've got, what, one single green herb? But that's alright. This is Chris Redfield. Hello? Chris Redfield does not feel uh, fear. He does not feel pain. None of that shit. Alright, so this is locked because that is exactly where I want to go for the dog whistle. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go this way then. And I need to be careful of that big lump. Where exactly is the Zambambo? You're- Oh, hey, good sir. That would have been an unfortunate piece of damage to get that there. Okay. Uh, this door is locked with what? Okay, sword key. Cool. That is exactly what I wanted right there. Okay, so that's the dog whistle. Now we should, there's a zombie right there, um, I think we probably have one right there as well. I've got ammo, this is an important room to keep clear, so let's take these fuckers down. Headshots, Chris. Ah, that's not a headshot. I don't appreciate that, but that's okay. There you go! Chris fucking Redfield. That is what I like to fucking see right there. Alright, this zombie is taking a lot of shots, boy. There you go. Now he's done. Uh, we are going to need to come up and burn his body, though. His body is not a concern. Okay, 13 shots. And damn it, there's going to be another body right there that we got to burn as well. Um, but I do have that old key, so we can go get some shit from, uh, that room over there. Okay, okay, we're looking good. Let me put this away for now. I want the fuel canteen, and I want that old key. Yeah. Uh, is there other stuff in here? No, there's not. Wow. Wow, the supplies are very empty. Several kinds of serum, sickly color. All right. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is burn the body directly in front of us. Then we'll go fill up and uh, get the uh, body upstairs. This one's been dead for several hours. This could be the cause of the Bravo member we're going to meet. Because uh, I, I don't think it's... It's not Wesker. Okay, so we can go here. This is what I was saving that old key for. This is a nice little storeroom here. This will give us a lot of... Uh, Pretty solid supplies, including the broken shotgun, which is absolutely essential in Chris's playthrough. Uh, flash grenade. Uh, Chris doesn't get the stun gun like Jill. Uh, Chris gets these little flash grenades. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and fill up our kerosene. And what do we got over here? Ink ribbon? Alright, we'll take it. Is that it? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Alright, so with the broken shotgun... Boy, you know what? I don't have enough ammo. No, your boy sure doesn't. Okay, we're we're not gonna go for uh, the dog whistle quite yet. I don't like the amount of ammo I've got, honestly. Uh, so let's get rid of... Oops, oops. This Zambambo over here. 
before he turns into a nasty crimson head. That is not anything we want. Nope. Right there. Alright, so... Oh, let me also... While we're up here, this is important to unlock this door. Yes. Um... How many supply... How much... I've only got one spot. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to run in there real quick and see if I can't grab uh, the couple herbs that are right there. I believe the Crimson Head will probably get up. No, you know what? Let me save that for when we're going to go get the armor key. That probably would be a better idea. All right. Again, Chris's... Uh Chris's playthrough has got a bit more running around. It's okay, though. All right, so let's put the broken shotgun right there. Fuel canteen. Um, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit up the bottom right corner. Uh, we can get some handgun ammo in that L room. And I think in a, probably a couple... Well, I do need another old key. Boy, the lack of ammo is hurting bad. Uh, yeah, let... Hmm. But I do need to be careful because there's going to be a lot of zombie spawn points coming up as well. Wait, I'm not actually too sure. Should I? No, with only thir gun 13 shots, I don't want to go... Try and get the dog whistle quite yet. Because uh, we're going to need to fight a dog or two. Okay, so what do we got? One green herb. This door behind me takes me... Yeah, yeah, we can go that way. That's okay. Okay, so there's only one green herb there. Uh, we're actually going to head down this way. <clears throat> going down here, I can grab the uh, blue gemstone. Interesting that that zombie is gone already. He goes by really quick. Uh, yeah, this room is empty. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're looking good. We're looking good right now. Although... Boy, I really... Would like to get past that zombie. Because there is another sword key... Uh, room over there. Jesus! Yeah, you're done. There's no way you're alive. Ah, oh, Chris, what are we gonna do? Holy shit, what the fuck is going on here? Well, at least I got a headshot. God damn, I got one fucking bullet left. Alright, that's okay, because I should be able to get some uh, ammo down here. And this will be good because the door leading to the L-shaped room where there's going to be more handgun ammo will also... Give me, uh... Like, that's... Okay, cool, yeah. And here's the old key. Uh, what do I want to use that old key for? That's what I gotta figure out. Okay, I think there's a dagger. Are you alive? No. For sure he's gonna jump up and pester me, though. Okay, there's no ammo down here. Fuck. I'm not gonna be able to fight this uh, zombie that comes down. That's all right. What do we got here? We have one dagger and one flash grenade. All right. What am I going to use this old key for? Huh. 
right now I'm doing better with uh, healing supplies and herbs than I am with... Okay, there we go. Cool. So I could lure him over this way. Bye, bitches. Fucking cocksuckers. Uh, since I'm doing so much better with healing supplies and ammo, I'm going to need to take damage rather than waste more ammo taking these zombies down. Okay, let's head... Wait, what room is this? Right, that's the piano room. That's an armor key door. And then this is an armor key door as well. No, that's just locked. All right. Should I grab the blue gemstone right here? That is the question. Yeah, while we're running through, I might as well. Uh... No, you know what? No, no, no. I'm not going to. Uh, cause I'll leave it there. That's so close to where the tiger room is anyway that we could just leave that. That's fine. That's fine. Is there anything in the main hall? No, we're good. Okay. I just gotta be, uh, very, very patient at the beginning of Chris's playthrough here. Very patient. Keep my wits and my head about me. Alright, so this- Oh, fuck me. That's right. You are gonna turn into a crimson head, because I killed you on this end. Well, that's alright, because we should be able to avoid this room, uh, in the future. And there goes the sword key. So after we clear this side out, uh, we're gonna get the, uh, shotgun. Then we'll go grab the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. The armor key. Alright, so we got the dagger. Yeah, dogs, stay away. We don't want nothing to do with you damn dogs. Ah, right, yes. I badly need this right here. Thank you. So I've only got 16 shots. That's still not great. But we'll have to make do. Okay. So the door immediately to my right, that is an old key door. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. But we're not going to go through there quite yet. Uh, so we can go ahead and go in here. Of course, this is the scary, scary bathroom. But again, I should be able to get what we need from in here. Um, and get the item and get out of here before this zombie starts attacking. Now, another way Jill's playthrough is easier, if you guys remember, is when Jill undoes this cork here... And then the water starts coming out. Oh, so scary. Uh, what happens is Jill actually kills the zombie during this cutscene. That doesn't happen here with Chris. Uh, Chris doesn't kill the zombie during the cutscene. So we can quickly grab the old key and then get the fuck out of there. That's how we do that. Now, eventually, this zombie is going to break out of there. So he's not locked in there forever. Uh, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here. And I should have brought the broken shotgun with me. That was a mistake. But that's okay. Uh, we'll head through here. And then we're right next to an item box where we can grab the broken shotgun. Alright, now I believe there's, uh... There's gonna be a zombie in this room as well. Alright. You know what? I might use the shotgun to kill the dogs with the dog whistle. I'm I really think I'm gonna. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, this old key. I'm trying to think where do I use this one at? Hmm. I'm actually struggling to remember that. That's okay. We could put that down for now. Uh we'll put this green herb down for now. Uh, we want the broken shotgun, and that's it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, no kerosene in there. That is a real shame. Uh, 
Okay. So, let's go through here. And, yep, the doorknob is going to be broken very, very soon. Uh, but that's okay, because I'm only going to do this this one time. Well, no, I am going to do it a second time, but that's going to be when I actually leave. So... Ooh, boy. You know what I should do then? I should go, go clear out that other room over there. Because if I have to go through here one more time, that will spell big, big problems. Alright, so, y you know, one thing I really do like with the remake is... So, like, this room in the original, you know, the walls were just white or yellow or tan. Whatever kind of, like, basic color you want to think of. But here in the remake... The one way that they change that up a little bit is they just um, kept it the same color, but they put those murals on the wall. I think that's really, really effective. All right, so we'll put the broken shotgun down. Uh, that is everything in here, okay? So we did get another dagger, so I've got three daggers. That's pretty good. Uh, hmm, okay. Yeah, three daggers is not bad. Let me check how much space I have again. I don't think I'll have enough room to get all the shit I need over here. Fuck. No, I certainly don't. We're gonna have to make two trips. Uh, eventually zombies are gonna... Oh, I'm having trouble with the camera. Eventually zombies are gonna pop out of there. Oh my god, there he is. Go, 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 go. Fuck. out of my way you prick I had hoped that that zombie is gonna wait a little longer to pop out of there than he did oh well shotgun uh no let me let me resist the urge okay dog stay away okay what do we got not a ton of herbs over here let me grab that and we'll grab this Okay, so we can mix these up. I'm gonna... Ooh, if I use one handgun bullet... No, we're gonna pick this up. I'm just gonna use it. Fuck it. I think I'm at full health anyway, but I don't care. We'll be alright. Because this is not an area I'm gonna want to be uh, traversing through again anyway. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. And we don't have to worry about any damn dogs. I could just take a left right here. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. If dogs bust through in this room... I think if you go through this room too many times, dogs do eventually jump out in here. But that's okay, because I'm not going to be going through here again. So this is fine. Uh, let me bob and weave... No, damn it! My run of embarrassing the dogs is over. They actually got me that time. Fuck. Okay, and this guy is probably a crimson head too. No, he's not. Okay, cool. Okay, okay good. I better not be in caution. Okay, cool. I was going to say, because I just had to use that damn green herb. That would be a real, real unfortunate turn of events. Okay, that was successful though. Uh, let's head up and over this way. We're gonna go over to this, uh, item box here. And what I'm gonna do... Yeah, we're gonna go through here. I'm gonna probably bring a shot, the shotgun. And, uh, take care of the dog that way. Okay, where are you at? You're over there. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. Haha. -ha. I am the winner, zombie. Is this the door I want? Yes, it is. Alright, the supplies are uh, quite limited in this once more run as Chris here, but we're doing fine. All right, so we're going to drop off a bunch of the items we've got. We're going to pull out the dog whistle. I'm going to keep the shotgun. Yes, yeah, so let's see. Let's put this away. We want that dog whistle. 
Oh, we do not need the chemical as of right now. Put those away. We could put this away. I'm still trying to think. What the fuck? Is... Because I know where one old key door is. I gotta remember where that second one is before it becomes uh, pertinent. Hmm. Alright. I'm also going to have to be real careful uh, when I do actually get the armor key. Uh, I'm going to be in quite a bit of danger because of all the zombies that are in that room. Oh! <laughs> you know what I just remembered? I remember where the other old key door is. It's this one! <laughs> That's funny. I was thinking, I was like, where the fuck is that other old key door? And it's the one I actually want to go through. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's grab the old key. Wablam. So we're going to be getting rid of both the old key and the dog whistle here. And we're going to be replacing it with the imitation key. And they do put you on the same side of the house where you actually go to get the armor key. Actually, I'll just turn back around and go right through there. And that puts you right next to where you need to go. So you don't need to just completely half-assedly run through that whole room. The other great thing here is uh, this big stack of herbs right there that we'll use if we take any damage. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and use the dog whistle. I'm going to go right here. Uh, the first one is going to be a shot. Oh, what the fuck? He ran right through a shotgun blast, bruh. Hell no. Again? I am blown away by this shit. I can't believe he that just happened. Holy shit. Whatever, though. All right, so we got the damn dogs taken care of. Uh, we got the collar. We have this beautiful green herb thing here. Go ahead and use that. Uh, so that takes care of those dogs. Let me just unlock this door. Now, there isn't, yeah, any other items here, and I'm probably never actually even going to use this door, but I do think it's important to unlock it anyway. Uh, get rid of the dog whistle. We can go right through there anyway, whatever. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to go over here. Okay, where where is he? It's right over there? Okay. Oh, damn you. Alright, so with the collar, we're going to be able to pull the imitation key out. And we can swap that for the real armor key. And then there's quite a number of rooms that are going to open up. Uh, I'm going to want to make sure that I prioritize the armor key rooms that have uh, ammo in it. I got to get I gotta get my hands on some more ammo right now. That is really... <laughs> we're so low on ammo right now. And really, it's not even as though I've got, you know, tons and tons of healing items either. That's all right, because most of the enemies in this game you can just run by anyway. Okay, so he's going to get up. That's fine. We're probably not going to have to fuck with him at all. Okay. Whew! The game has got me really working this time. All right, so now we get the delicious armor key. Thank you. Yeah, whoever picks us up can find peace and death. Fuck you! All right, I beat Xenogears. I'm not scared of some trap like this. Get out of here. Although, this is a really elaborate trap. It's almost too elaborate. 
Like, it's just completely unnecessary. Like, come on, man. Come on. All right, I think the, uh, the first place I'm gonna go to... All right, over here we have, uh, this, of course, is where we're gonna eventually battle the snake. Nothing we can do with that quite yet. Uh, let me see here. So now that we have the armor key, where, what is, like, the path I'm gonna use to go through these rooms? All right, let, let's go through this together. Okay. So, um, that, none of that up there. On, on the left side of the second floor, that's all helmet key stuff. Now, the right side of the second floor, that is all armor key stuff. Now, I do kind of want to go over to the forest room. Um, but first, we're going to go meet our new ally. That's the first thing I'm going to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's good. I like that. Uh, we're going to do that at the start of next time. Okay, so I'm not fucking around in here at all. We're just going immediately through this door. Where does this one take us? I can't remember. Uh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, yep, there's an open window right there. Sure. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the, uh, save box near where the, uh, like, you get the wooden mount and you get the second floor... Uh, map. That's where I'm gonna go right now. Also, let me check here. Uh, yes, I do have easily enough room, so we'll grab the blue gemstone this time. Well, I thought I thought I heard walking, but it was just myself. I was like, wait, what the fuck? What's in here? How dare you? possibly infester this legendary safe room this dining hall uh okay so where are we going we're going up yeah we want to go up right here uh, i'm thinking about heading into the forest room i guess i could do that right now no no i don't want to do that yet uh, i want to meet our new ally first Okay, so we're going to go in here in a second. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just unlock this for now. Uh, we'll go in there in a little bit, though. And there also... Yes, yes, yes. We could go through uh, the rooms that are right there in a little bit as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so now I'm actually going to be able to get my hands on some supplies. Oh, hello! Very, very fucking clutch right here. Wesker, thank you very much. Very odd. So yeah, like a lot of these little events where Barry is like, hey, you know, I fixed the door handle. Here's some ammo, blah, blah, blah. Here, it's uh, actually Wesker who does it instead. Which, if you really think about it, considering Wesker is the villain, it doesn't make the most sense in the world. But, well, actually, you know, it does. Because um, we know that Wesker's goal is, you know, he wants, like, uh, research and combat data of stars battling the monsters and stuff. So, I, I guess I do understand if you're thinking about it that way. So, he wants to make sure Chris has the means to actually uh, battle these monsters and uh, get the, you know, the test data. Okay, so uh, Wesker actually just helped us out a fucking bunch there. Getting all those supplies will be a real, real delight and a real help. Thank you, Wesker. 